How to take photos of buildings. Hello and welcome to VideoJug. Whether you're on holiday or simply looking to take some striking steps of your hometown, buildings and statues are a tricky subject to master. We're here to show you how to make the most of history and architecture and all that in your photos. Step 1. Lighting. Taking decent pictures of buildings is all about lighting. Glaring midday sun does little to highlight the nooks and crannies that'll make for an interesting picture. Much better is to do it in the early morning, where natural light is crisp and clear, or early evening, when it's warm and filling. In both instances, the light is also coming in from the side, which highlights the building much better. Step 2. Look at the details. Large, sweeping shots of buildings will most likely look lifeless and boring. A smarter move is to zero in on a specific detail like a gargoyle or doorway, and use your photographic special skills to highlight that instead. Step 3. Framing. Unless you're massive, chances are the building you're photographing is bigger than you, which means you'll be looking upwards. This means there'll be acres and acres of sky in the picture. If possible, frame your photo with some trees branching or another building, anything to crop the image down and give it some context. Step 4. If it's night time. Quite often, impressive looking buildings are lit up like Christmas trees at night and look like they'll make for an amazing photo. Beware of leaving your camera's settings on automatic as the low light and high levels of contrast can sometimes ruin your shot. Bright lights will become halos, while dark sections will be black as black. Instead, adjust your ISO settings to a nighttime mode, and set a nice long exposure time to allow more light into the camera. Any lights will look bolder and brighter with a long exposure time, so practice getting this right. Step 5. Use Photoshop. Sometimes, buildings are being worked on. There might be scaffolding or cranes, or discoloured bits going on which detract from the otherwise flawless quality of your photograph. Or maybe the colours aren't quite as bold as you'd anticipated. In this digital age, don't be afraid to touch them up in an editing package and make everything perfect. Buildings are brilliant and make for amazing snaps. It's worth taking the extra time to make sure your shot is perfectly set up, which will result in a superior photo. Done.